This video is sponsored by PokedownStore.com, the place for all your Pokemon TCG online needs. The new Sword and Shield online booster packs are also available, so definitely check them out, PokedownStore.com. Also, if you use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG, you get 5% of your next order. How amazing is that? Check it out. What's up YouTube, it's ZandoisTCG here and welcome back to another TCG video on my channel. Today we're going to be opening up a Sword and Shield booster box. Sword and Shield is a, a start of a new block, so uh, that's why we're always uh, trying opening up some packs so you guys get to know the new uh, ways of playing. We have of course Lapras VMAX, there's going to be V Pokemon in this uh, particular booster box and uh, this is kind of like the new archetype or actually new thing. We don't have GX Pokemon anymore, they uh, went away and now they are going to print V Pokemon. So start a new journey and meet new V Pokemon. On. We of course have uh, the powerful uh, legendary that we want to pull, Zacian V, also Zamazenta V, Stone Journer, Snorlax V Max and all that. So uh, yeah, Sword and Shield, I don't know if you guys played the video games but these are powerful Pokemon and uh, this is Snorlax V Max so we'll see if we're uh, gonna be able to pull uh, some nice cards out of this booster box. For the guys that uh, wonder, Sword and Shield will be legal two weeks after the release so this is actually not the release date we're actually a couple of days off but hopefully you guys will enjoy this video nevertheless we already did some battle videos on a, a couple of popular archetypes in the form of like uh, the new updated Baby Blacephalon. We ch tested out Mew Mew Handlock already. So definitely check those videos out uh, uh, by checking out my channel uh, if you guys are interested in TCG online battles because this channel is all about competitive TCG. So uh, if you guys are just casual players or just collectors, then uh, you'll also have fun with this video we are gonna see here. So uh, this is the booster box and we're gonna do uh, the entire uh, part here in just one video, one take wonder. So uh, let's just put the booster box aside and let's start with the first booster pack uh, before we uh, do that we're actually gonna check out the artwork so this is all on the uh, left side here we have Zamazenta, Zacian, Snorlax VMAX, Lapras VMAX so these booster bar uh, uh, pack artworks will be used in uh, winning playmats for instance League Cup playmats, regional playmats so definitely see these artworks they look very fine and uh, we will see more of them in the future so let's start this uh, uh, video off with the first booster pack Sword and Shield so uh, yeah, let's go with the new journey. If you guys also play the video games, uh, let me know what your favorite starter is. So uh, it looks like Grookey is already popping out of this pack on the, the first try. So one, two, three, we have one energy. It's a grass energy to go along with that Grookey. We're doing the card trick. So we find the, the rare cards at, at the last, uh, yeah, last of them. Okay, we have Grookey. Let's see if the camera just focuses on this guy. We have a Kufan, so uh, yeah. Sorry if the pronunciation of the names is a little bit off. These are all uh, yeah new uh, Pokemon. So uh, Sizzle P. <laughs> this is evolving into that uh, amazing um, Center Scorch, which can actually mill a lot of cards. A Vi Vitality Band. This is good. All the good cards I'm gonna showcase and put them uh, on display mat. So uh, we're gonna see here a Haunter, a Twacky. Volpix Reverse. I don't think this is a better Volpix than the other one we already have. And then the rare is a Drapa. Never seen this artwork before. Uh, smacking 80 damage for just uh, yeah a DCE. DCE is no longer legal, but there is gonna be a new uh, double Karas energy printed for only non-V Pokemon and non-GX Pokemon. So that can help out maybe this Drapa. Next pack. So the only thing we got out of that was a Vitality Band. There's a huge uh, amount of staples in here so if you guys uh, are just doubting to get a booster box uh, just save up because you desperately want to have uh, Quick Balls, Professor's Research, Marnie, all those kind of cards because they are staples. Okay, Lightning Energy this time around also the energy artwork has been changed a little bit as you can see. Okay, what do we have? We have a Cottony, cool artwork. We have Scorbunny, we'll need that for uh, the evolution. Uh, Silly Cobra, we have Yamper, yeah, this uh, in the video games followed you around and stuff. Actually, you had to you whistle in order to, for them to pop around. We have a Grookey. Air Balloon, this is good. This uh, makes sure that we have uh, two less retreat costs, so that's a great trainer card. Let's put it to the side. We have a Poke Kid, don't think this is great. Heat More. Pikachu, so I probably think there's also Durand in the set because Heat More and Durand go hand in hand. And the rare is Cramorant V, look at that. Our first V Pokemon, and what a Pokemon it is. 
This is a Pokemon that loves to snipe all around. With his split shot, you can uh, discard all energies attached to this Pokemon, and then you can sm uh, smack 160 damage to one of the opponent's Pokemon. So this is ideal in a lot of decks. With Malamar, you can reaccelerate those energies. With a Welder and an attach of the turn, you can get this attack rolling. So a lot of archetypes will probably grab to this to just close off games. You can snipe off the Danny, it's perfect. So not too shabby here, this Cramorant V as our first uh, Ultra Rare of the bunch. And next pack, Snorlax V Max. After we've seen all of the artworks, we're gonna go a little bit quicker, but for now, let's just enjoy the ride while it lasts, because opening packs just go so quickly, and then out of nowhere you say like, ah, oh, I opened them too quickly, and now all the fun is gone. We have a Galarian Ponyta. I love the design on a Galarian Ponyta. We have Cottony again. This also again, these uh, artworks we've already seen, lots of comments. Drizzile, this is nice because you can search your deck for a trainer card if you evolve it. And uh, that also works out if you evolve into Inteleon, so uh, that is actually not bad. People might just grab to that archetype. Evolution Incense is great, we uh, search your deck for Evolution Pokemon. As we've seen, this is an updated version of uh, Evo Soda, so it's very, very good. Seeking, a very fun mill deck uh, because it can... Uh, Discard energies after you flip three coins for each hatch. You discard an energy attached to the opponent's active, so it could be fun with crushing hammers and all that. And the rare is a uh, Mudsdale. Yeah, not the most powerful Pokemon ever. It uh, needs three fighting energies, and seeing as fighting types don't get it, uh, yeah, don't get the best energy acceleration. I don't think this card will ever see play. Hopefully, we'll uh, get some energy acceleration for fighting uh, because otherwise, fighting is gonna be left with like. Uh, Poor energy acceleration. We have fire with Wilder, Psychic with Malamar, Lightning with Tapu Koko, Prism Star, and Fighting is just there with their Karate Belt. Like, eh. Okay, moving forward, we have a Beltoy. Chinchao, Krabby, yeah, spreading damage around. This was fun at the pre release. Uh, Menchino, we have a Galarian Ponyta once again. Energy Search is back. I don't know if it's better than uh, the Energy Spinner, but it's back. Quick Ball, that's where it's at. This is uh, the best card of the set. So you see a couple of staple trainers right there. Uh, it discards one of the cards in the hand and then, <laughs> yeah, you can search it out for a basic. And this, Copperaja, could actually see some play. This is a one price Pokemon with 190 HP. You can even buff that up with the metal frying pan. So it has uh, technically 220 HP. So uh, it actually smacks 220 damage as well. So four treat costs, easy searchable with the Pokemaniac. Maybe this could be an archetype, maybe, who knows? And the rare is a Rhyperior, another Pokemon with four retreat costs. Uh, as mentioned, fighting types don't have it great. Uh, uh, the metal types do have it great with metal saucer. Fighting types are just left in the dust. Even though right here, look at the holographic on that one. Looks cool. All right. Do I put the holographics here? Yeah, for now, we're just gonna put them right here. Otherwise, uh, you will not be able to f fully understand what we pull from this booster box. But uh, if uh, the the good cards come and we don't have space anymore on the play mat, we're gonna get rid of that uh, right period. So yeah, some more packs. Z Zamazenta on the cover. Zamazenta has a, a nice ability blocking uh, damage done to it for, by V Max Pokemon. I do predict V Max Pokemon to get more popular for now. There's not a lot of uh, good V Max Pokemon in there. I think there's three of them that might see a little bit of play as a uh, as of late. Okay, Nicket. I do think this is a great card if you're playing a Darkness deck. Putting the opponent to a three card hand is always fantastic. We have another one of those Battle Toys, Chin Chow Krabby. All the same uh, comments we've already seen. Great ball as back in the format. Uh, do we put it here? Nah, it's a reprint, so uh, you can use the older copies. Galarian Linoon, Rotom Bike. Mm, your turn ends, I don't like that. <laughs> Chin Chow, another one, so two copies. Uh, yeah, and the Deep Sea. And the rare is uh, Rillaboom. It's the, the wrong one, but 190 HP, what happened? They are still uh, buffing the Pokemon up with more and more HP. All right, let's see here, another pack. Energy is metal. Will we get some metal saucers? That is actually what we are looking for. Also, Zation V would be fantastic. Mudbray, Hood Hood, uh, Penchurchin, Vulpix, Nicket. Pokegear is also back. Fantastic card. I uh, played this a bunch in my uh, Greens Baby Blance. Uh, Sudowoodo, Eldegross. We have a Heatmore and BAM! The, yeah, this is actually a nice artwork of Dreadnought, a water type. 
Too bad that aqua patch is gone, but we do have a new way to accelerate water type. So every type has its part of acceleration. We have, of course, grass, we have Rillaboom, fire, we have welder, lightning, type of Coco Prism Star. Uh, the water types have frost mod, metal types have metal saucer, uh, psychic types have Malamar, and now we just have, of course, fighting types that have nothing. <laughs> so sad. Okay, one, two, three. Energy, we have water types. Okay, let's see here. It's a Grookey. There's a mud braid. Let's get that water energy out of here. Okay, we have Hoot Hoot. There's a Puncher Chan again. Vulpix. Pokemon Center Lady also has been reprinted. You can use your older copies, maybe your full arts from the Flash Fire set. Get them out. Seeking again. There's a Hitmonchan. The reverse is a Rookie D. Okay, the starter bird, which eventually goes into Corviknight. And the rare is Chinchino. I love pulling this rare. Why is that? Because it has the same ability as Zoroark GX, ladies and gentlemen. It can uh, discard a card from the hand, and then you can draw two cards. This will see play. Maybe not in the early phases of the game, but this is just such a good ability that it will see play. Mark my words. All right, let's move on. Another Lapras pack. Which v, uh, v Pokemon are your favorites? Let me know in the comment section below. My fa personal favorite is the full art of the um, Zacian. I love the, I love the colors on that card. Pulled that at the pre-release uh, from a friend. So uh, Chewel, Rhyhorn, Rookie D, Krabby. So the comments, uh, we already got used to seeing that. Galarian Stunfisk, very hilarious. It's actually hilarious Stunfisk because uh, if Pokemon uh, attack it, we have to discard an energy attached to the opponent's active Pokemon. So with a little bit of a uh, metal frying pan action and uh, a little bit of crushing hammers, this could actually be kind of good. Reboot. We have Hop drawing three cards, just like Chirin back in the days. Uh, Blip Bug. Reverse. Look at the reverse pattern. So cool. And the rare is Cinderace. I love this card. This is good. Actually, when you switch it to the bench, just like you do with like a Heat Ran GX, you can actually uh, get uh, the bonus effect here. If you do that, you can uh, attach two uh, fire energies from your discard pile immediately to it. So play this with the uh, professor's research and get energies to it. And out of nowhere, very early on in the game, 190, bam, even hitting weakness against the po uh, popular Pokemon Zacian V. So I do think this is uh, one of the better stage twos out there. All right, more packs, more fun. All right, one, two, three. It's been a while since we pulled a V Pokemon. Hopefully that'll change with this pack. We have a Grass Energy to go along with this Cottony. We have a Cho Choodle. We have a Rhyhorn. We have a Rookity. A Krabby again. Team Yelgrand might uh, see play because of uh, its uh, disruptive effect. Put an energy from uh, one of your opponent's Pokemon into their hand. So uh, let's say you're up against an ADP Zacian deck they uh, attach of the turn on their ADP. Well, he can even use this on the first turn out of nowhere. Oh yeah, their turn is gone. Drizzle, Galarian Stunfisk, uh, Reverse Great Ball. I love pulling Reverse Trainer cards. And the rare is Lapras V Max. Okay, Lapras V Max, such a wonderful card. I don't have any sleeves with me, but look at the artwork on that. Pokemon cards have gone through the roof. We have 320 HP. We do need to evolve, so this is not a basic Pokemon, it's a VMAX Pokemon, so this can go through effects and, uh, and things like Obstagoon or whatever. If you cannot attack with a basic, this is not a basic, it's uh, an insane powerful Pokemon, too bad that it's weak to lightning. If it was weak to grass, it might see more play, but I'm a little bit afraid of Picaron, but this is fantastic. So Rhyperior, uh, get out of here, you need to make some room for Lapras VMAX. Fantastic, okay, let's move along, Lapras pack. So we have a Lapras, how cool is that? Now we just need some frost mods to try this out. One, two, three, energy, it's a grass. Okay, we're gonna get lots of basic energies. Goldeen, Roselia, Joltik, Silly Cobra, is it pronounced like that, or that way? I don't know. Blipbug, Ductrio, smacking 60 for one energy. Switch, this is good. This is very good. Energy retrieval, Senti Scourge, this is what I was talking about. For every fire energy attached to this Pokemon, discard the top card of your opponent's deck. So, <laughs> in theory, let's say we're playing Porygon Z and attaching a lot of unit energies and rainbow energies and Aurora energies and we even use Welder. You can even discard 10 cards from the opponent's deck. So, if you can keep this guy alive, this will uh, mill the opponent very, very quickly. And the rare is Cinderace. It's the wrong one though. Cinderace, yeah, I even have a friend that loves to make like those rogue decks with milk cards. I think he'll love a card like that. 
That's actually now that we have like quick ball and evolution incense. Finding the, the puzzle pieces to get this out quickly as possible is actually not that hard. Maybe play a Jirachi engine and your rare candies will be flying out of your deck. Pharaoh Seed, Goldeen, Roselia, Joltik, Silly Cobra, Sidwudu, uh, LD Ghost, Energy Surge again, Joltik, and BAM! It's another Chinchino! Fantastic! So I love pulling rares like this. We have two Chinchinos now. I also have one from the pre-release, so that makes us having three Chinchinos. We need a full playset to be starting uh, some kind of weird mill deck or maybe a control archetype with Chinchino. We've seen it before, so it will happen again. So prepare yourself. Lightning energy. What will we get? There's Scorbunny, Naked, Chinchow, Diglett. I haven't pulled that one before, I think. Twacky. Lucky Egg, another fantastic item card. We are gonna use this in Baby Blastathlon to patch up our weakness of a reset stamp. So fantastic pulling that. If uh, one of your Pokemon got knocked out uh, with this equipment, you can draw cards until you have seven in the hand. How broken is that? Dub Wool, Slanded, and boom, we've charred off. This is not a good rare. You want uh, Chinchinos as rare. Those are way, way better. Okay, we're almost halfway through the box. So uh, yeah, things are going smoothly. We already have two ultra rares, both of them will might actually see play. You can even play Lapras V Max maybe with weak guard energy because of the attach of the turn. It doesn't matter because we have Frostmoth to accelerate all the rest of the water energy. So maybe it could be a thing. Maybe people will try it out and find a way to make it work. With a lot of like the Dennis, so you draw into your water energies. Who knows? Okay, Pawnyard, Score Bunny, Naked, Chinchow, Diglett again, Reboot. Hop, useless, <laughs> Pokegear is good. We have Rillaboom, the wrong one, again. And the rare is uh, Grab Locked. This could see play with Karate Belt. Attach of the turn, you can uh, make sure that the opponent is actually stuck and they cannot retreat uh, until uh, Grab Locked leaves the active position. So uh, defending Pokemon can retreat and their attack cost is two more. So oof. Yeah, who, who knows? Chinchino, Grab Lock, Stall Deck, who knows? Everything's possible in a trading card game. If you uh, just get yourself the answer to the meta. I'm actually flying to Sweden very shortly for another regional. So I don't even know what I'm playing. Just uh, opening a lot of packs here to see if I can make something uh, that works. <laughs> okay, another pack. Galarian, Ponyta, Sobble, Maractus, Mudbray, uh, Poundyard, Rodent Bike. Big Charm, that's good. This actually gets you 30 extra HP. It might seem a little bit silly getting 30 extra HP with, of course, Choice Helmet in the format, but this is better. This works on every Pokemon. Let's say you're playing a Malamar Mewtwo deck and your Malamar is almost knocked out thanks to things like Snipe Damage. Well, don't worry, just slap a big charm onto it and you're good. So uh, 30 extra HP is good. Seeking, Pawnyard Reverse, and rare is a Toxic Croak. Ta -ta. Getting extra poison damage. It's actually like, a, do you remember Surviper? Well, there's actually two Survivors in one. The opponent actually takes more damage from poison types. Two more damage counters. Uh, yeah, with the poison Pokemon between turns. Actually, during the checkup phase. So they have changed the uh, between turns to checkup phase. If you want to see the full detailed uh, information about the new rules, there's also a video on my channel. Definitely check it out because new rules come with great responsibility. You don't want to be that guy playing down your professor's research on the first turn and getting a game loss. You don't want that. Okay, one, two, three. Another energy. It is a psychic energy. What can we pull from this pack? We get Mawau, Galarian Ponyta, Sovol, Maractus, Mudbray, Energy Switch is used in the Picaron deck. We have Dottler, Galarian, Stunfisk, Pokemon Catcher Reverse, Love Pulling, Reverse Trainers, and the rare is Tapu Koko Feech. Oh yeah, that's good. So we have a Catcher, which is a reprint, not gonna put it on the video here. Yeah, this is what we want here, Tapu Koko V. This is a Pokemon, has free retreat, can draw cards, smacks damage, and uh, what for damage? 200 for three energies is actually good. It's not broken like Zacian, smacking 230, but we have Electro Power with us. So with a simple Electro Power, we can even smack Zacian V in the face. We have Acceleration in the form of uh, Tapu Koko Prism Star. We can search it with Quick Ball, and we have Thunder Man. We can search it with Guzman Hala. So Tapu Koko V brings new life into Picaram. Picaram is gonna be broken. Okay, let's get these hollows aside. One, two, three. We have three hollows so far. Not the best of the bunch, but let's just put them aside right there while we have room to put Tapu Koko V in the video. All right, let's make some room here. Let's put the Chinchinos over here in the corner. 
Maybe we pull another one. It is a rare. You never know. Okay, let's move on. There's two packs left on the left side of the booster box. So three ultra rares seems to be right. I don't know what's the maximum amount of ultra rares you can have in a sword and shield booster box. Guess we're gonna have to find out. We have not pulled any metal saucers. And that's a card I don't have yet, which is uh, very scary. Okay, Muna, Snom, Grookey, Shelder, Mawile, Hitmon Lee. Look at the background. Hitmon Chad is just waiting to be kicked around. Salazzle, why? Why does Pokemon always print Salazzle in every set? There's probably a Salazzle lover up there in HQ uh, with Pokemon and they say like, we need another Salazzle. Oh, here we have Metal Saucer, just what I wanted. Energy, research, energy Search Reverse and the rare is Ninetales. It's actually not a bad card because uh, if you can get the... Um, yeah, that's... No, oh, yeah, this is the wrong Ninetales. There's also a Ninetales in here which can smack a huge amount of damage if the opponent is affected by a special condition or has an ability. Yeah, it was that. Very, very broken. I'm actually gonna... What do we get rid of? They're also good. <laughs> let's put Chinchino back on top and let's smack some Metal Saucer right there. Okay. Yeah, the Chinchinos are moving by themselves. It's magic. The last pack, no, there's two packs left on the left side, so uh, let's go a little bit faster. Yeah, no, zigzagoons. Oh yeah, one, two, three, energy. Okay, we have a Galarian zigzagoon to start things off. This belongs in every, <laughs> wow, that one shines a lot. Okay, this belongs in every uh, Sableye V goons deck, so you can put one damage counter on one of the opponent's Pokemon. Check out the deck profile, it's a broken deck. Okay, we have Muna. And a Snom. We need Snoms to evolve into Frozmoth, Garuki, Shelder. Pelpat is now eroded. So if you have older copies, they're still legal. But now it says up to two supporters. So uh, let's say there's a Greens and a Welder in there. And you only want to find the Green. You can only put... Yeah, you can choose between one or two. Okay. Uh, Citrus Berry. This is a, a, yeah, a neat uh, tool card which heals 30 damage, but you rather want to have 30 extra HP. Big charm is better. Quillfish, Roselia, and the rare is Team Yell Grunt Fullard. Wow. Still don't have sleeves, but uh, we'll sleeve them up after the video. Full art. This is a fantastic, beautiful card. Right here. Ooh, we already uh, talked about this card, but uh, seeing it full art is just fantastic. So, four ultra rares on the left side. This is the last pack. On the left side of the booster box, we have a Darkness Energy. And now let's see, what is in the last pack? Uh, yeah, this has a basic with 100 HP, insane. Baltoy, Chinchou, Silopy, Galarian Zigzagoon, second one, Hilarious Stuntfisk. <laughs> Hyper Potion, this might be good. Do we have room for Hyper Potion? Let us put it right here. Hyper Potion heals 120 damage, but you have to discard two energies attached to your Pokemon. Coupon and then Lantern, not what you want. Where are the great Broken Trainer cards? We want Quick Balls, we want Metal Saucers. Okay, now we're gonna start with the second half of the Booster Box. Darkness Energy again. Lots of Darkness to go around. Wooloo! <laughs> Grookey, Sobble, lots of starters in here. Rhyhorn, Roselia, Big Charm, good. Second Big Charm. Seeking seems to be popping up a lot as well. Lucky Egg, second one of those. Ta-da! And uh, the rare is Poltergeist. I like this rare card, I'm gonna put it here. Poltergeist can actually use the attack Poltergeist, so uh, maybe you, you run a tin line of Malamar and you can smack a huge amount of damage depending on how many trainer cards the opponent has in the hand. You can play with surprise box, kind of like the attack that Gengar Mimikyu has, but it's a one prizer. Searchable with Alms Lecture, so don't forget about that. Alan's Lecture still in the format. I do think it's powered down a little bit because you cannot play down a supporter when you go first. Which actually uh, sucks for a lot of decks. Okay, Grass Energy. A Grass Energy and we get a Maractus. Ta-da! A Pikachu! I think it's the first one we pulled here. Galarian Meowth. We also need a couple of those for Galarian Berserker. Slizzlepeed. Wooloo! <laughs> yeah, I'm just fan of, a big fan of Wooloo. Galarian Linoon. Energy switch, by Charp, uh, Rosalie on the rare is Rillaboom. This is the good Rillaboom, finally. Seeing the good Rillaboom. There we go. We're gonna put them um, over. Yeah, we're just gonna make a little bit of room so we can put them here. Rillaboom. This is Pulty, guys. Not gonna put it in the video. Don't have room for it. These Chinchinos are good, though. 
Let's put them like this. Yeah, while we're at it. Okay, another pack. The holographics are, yeah. I love Cinderace and uh, Rillaboom, but uh, the Rhyperior and Toxic Rope, not so much. You get a lightning energy from this pack. <laughs> yeah, this is a Sinistee to go with that uh, full T, guys. Miraculous. Pikachu, Galarian Meowth, Slizzlepi, Slazzle. Yeah, Metal Saucer, that's good. Second one of those. Rotom Bike, Diglett Reverse, and bam, it's Lapras. Which, oof. Could be fun with Frost Mod. You can put two energies from the opponent's active back into their hand. Ooh, could slow them down a lot. Who knows? Might see play. But four energies? Yeah, you're losing four energy, so you're gonna have to play a deck with a lot of ways to get your energies back. Maybe Energy Recycler, Energy Retrieval, who knows? We got to the Fighting Energy. The type that does not have energy acceleration. We're crying. Okay, Chinchou. Krogunk, this artwork is sick. Galarian Meow, Score Bunny, Sinistee, Lumberry, Corvic Squire. Whoa, Wooloo pops up. He's just so excited. Galvantula, Wooloo Reverse, and the rare is uh, Orbeetle. This might see play in a kind of a stall deck. Remember Chip Chip uh, Ice Axe, just uh, controlling the opponent's top deck. Well, with this, you can uh, look at the top three cards of your opponent's deck. Oh, camera, just check it out. And put them back in any order. So it's uh, an ability, Chip Chip. Could use it every single turn. You don't whiff on Chip Chips. But the bad news is that people might just uh, use Zation V to go about this. And uh, I don't know. It's also a stage two. Getting that out is also a hassle. Uh, and the first place, we get a fire energy from this pack. All right, Minchino, Chincho, Krogon, Galarian Meow, Score Bunny, Hyper Potion, Numero Dos. Okay, Numero Dos. Two of them. Two Hyper Potions. Team Yelgrunt, Hypnoly, Smacking the, on the Mountain, Reboot, and Corvic Knight. Cool epic, epic Pokemon. For one card, it's energy 50 damage. How insane is that? But, uh, hmm. Yeah, you have uh, some defense by your side if you discard energy. Don't think it will see play though. Stage 2, only smack and 130 damage. That's basically like a Giratina smack. And you know how that goes. People use Mallow and Lana and you can go back to the drawing board. With your idea. Energy. Energy is... Psychic. Alright, let's go. We have Sobble. Pinchurchin. Blib up these names, these new names are hard. Minchino Bead. This is a cool supporter which allows you to accelerate one basic energy from your hand to one of your bench Pokemon. Pretty simple effect, but might see play in certain archetypes. For instance, you use this accelerate. How can we say this? Might be used in a deck like a more Pico V because it needs some extra energy acceleration. Oh, yeah, there's also a way to accelerate some fighting type energies and a certain amount of decks. Okay, we have Reboot. Rare candy is reprinted! Hooray! This never goes away, so use your secret rash from uh... I don't think it's Guardians Rising? Might be wrong though. Pinch your chin reverse and the rare is... Oh yes! Yes, yes, yes! That's what we want! Zation V! Oof! Look at that! The broken card from the set. You use Entrap Sword, you uh, draw three cards. Look if there's metal energies in there. And you can accelerate them all to Zation V if you like, or just uh, keep all the other cards in the hand. Just so broken on the first turn of the game, even though there's a supporter rule stating you cannot play a supporter down, you can use Quick Ball, find Zation V, and draw three cards. That's basically like Hop. So Hop is useless. <laughs> this card is insane. It also smacks 230 damage for three energies. And with Metal Saucer laying right there, that's an easy task. So uh, this will see a huge amount of play. And I guess we'll have to make some room here. The Chin Chinos. Yeah, sorry for you guys. Uh, where do we put you guys? Maybe we put you over here. Yeah, besides the metal saucers and stuff. Cool. More packs to go. So this looks to be a, kind of a cool booster box. Almost everything we pull will see play. So uh, I'm really glad about that because uh, I was wondering if I should get a booster box to open up on the channel or not. Because buying singles typically is better to get what you want uh, for your decks. But this is actually a lot of fun. Woohoo! 70 HP. Look at the eyes. It's staring into your soul. Sobble. Pinch your chin, blib up, right horn, poke kid, not good. We have heat more. There's hilarious stunfisk and Rosalia, and the rare is bolt. Yeah, this also see play. This is a great holographic. 
what can I say about this card? You can smack 90 damage plus 90 more if the opponent is a Pokemon V or a GX. So typically, lots of these V Pokemon will have 200 HP. With a simple Electro Power, you one hit KO them for, uh, yeah, yeah, two Carlos Energies and a Lightning Energy. Not too hard to pull off. We have Tapu Koko Prism Star. We have Thunder Mountain, so we can maybe make like a Jirachi uh, Zapdos deck once again with a huge amount of cards uh, with Bolton, maybe a 2-2 line or a 3-3 line, and we can get this out and get this to be our heavy hitter. A one prize deck has Zapdos, has Ultra Beast, has this card, and out of nowhere, bam. This reminds me so much of the uh, Tapu Koko GX as a heavy hitter in that uh, kind of a deck, so maybe we'll see play. I love it already. Lightning types for the win. All right. All different hollows, all pretty good. Okay, this is actually a very good box. We have five ultra rare so far. Will we get seven? Will we get six? Will we only get five? Who knows? Everything is possible in a booster box. All right. A water energy pops up out of this pack. And we get Goldeen. Look at the artwork, swimming. Yamper, lots of duplicate Pokemon with different artworks. Yeah, uh, fun fact. Poison Pokemon are now Darkness type Pokemon. I don't know if you noticed it with Toxic Rook, but that's what the new ruling is. Yay! This is uh, something we haven't pulled already. Clobopus, very cute Pokemon. Woohoo! Uh, we have Heatmore, Drizzile, Ordinary Rod, also a staple in the TCG right now. I'm actually gonna put it right here. This gets your Pokemon back. You can either uh, select two Pokemon, to uh, up to two Pokemon, and put, shuffle them back in the deck, or you select uh, up to two basic energy. So it's kind of like Super Rod, but a little bit more uh, versatile. You only have to like choose uh, Pokemon or energy. And the rare is Celebi V. Wow, I have not even checked out this card. Is it good? Is it good? Is it good? Probably not if I haven't checked it out. It finds a friend, search your deck for two Pokemon, reveal them, and put them in the hand. Why don't you put him directly on the bench? That would be a more broken attack than just putting into the hand. The opponent will play Marnie and you're just like, meh. Uh, also, uh, Line Force. This stack is 20 more damage for each of your bench Pokemon. So, in theory, we have five bench Pokemon. That's 150 damage. Nah, not seeing it working out. Although, if a popular Pokemon comes out and it's weak to grass and it's a tier one archetype, we might see some kind, something like an Aurora Energy combined with counter gain, who knows, but for now I don't think it's good. Also having a weakness to um, weakness to fire just screams to be knocked out by welder based decks. Think about Lassafalon, Reshizard, you know, all the welder based decks out there. So yeah, Stella BV. The artwork is pretty cool though. Yeah, more packs. And there's a darkness energy popping up. So glad with that, <laughs> with that Zacian, such a wonderful card. Uh, also very expensive. Goldie, Yamper, Scorpy, Clubopus, Quick Ball, yeah. Getting some more of those would also be fine. We have our Galvantula, Air Balloon. Okay, woo! Okay, wait for that. Just putting those to the side a little bit so we can smack down our Air Balloon so you can see a full scale of what we already pulled. I don't think we'll pull some more. Yeah, let's leave some hope open. Let's put them over here, the, the Hyper Potions. Ta-ta! Alright, where were we? Woo! And the rare is a Cramorant. This is not a good card. It's very, very average to say the least. Next pack. With Zacian on the cover. Maybe we pull a rainbow. Rainbow rare Zacian. Does it even exist? And, and there's a gold version I uh, recall. Okay, water. Maybe we pull Frostmob. Okay, Rookie D. Krabby. Grookie. Mudbray. Hoot Hoot. Regular Potion is also back. I remember the days with Salasaur. <laughs> it was very fun seeing Potion scene play for like a little brief moment. Uh, Eldegoss. Pseudo Wooda Reverse. And Poltegeist, the second one. Yeah, that's a good rare. I don't mind pulling good rares like Chinchino or Poltegeist. It's always nice to just make some rogue decks. Add a leaf challenge that's or something. All right, one, two, three. Energy. It's a dart as energy. What do we get? Ta-ta! Wooloo! <laughs> of course we get Wooloo. Joltik. Slanded. Uh, Call of Opus, whatever. <laughs> Ghastly. Look at the artwork. <laughs> Ghastly. Rare candy. Also a staple, so 
I don't mind pulling one more of those. Lumberry, heal special condition and the checkup phase. Ugh, don't think it's great. Special energies, uh, special uh, conditions typically aren't great because Switch is always in the format. And moving to the bench is typically better. Definitely with Jirachi still in the format. Uh, Silly Cobra under rare is a cor Copper Jaw. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but I also look at this Pokemon and say like, why isn't there a region based on India? That would be so good. We have a second uh, Copper Raja, so, so not too bad because we have a reverse one. We might even play this weird huge tanking deck. So lots of holographics. So one, two, three, four, five, six holographics and uh, six ultra rares. Is that average? Can we get some more? One, two, three, energy. Can we get even an ultra rare? I don't even know at this point. Uh, it's been a while since we opened some packs. Okay, here's Minchino. Uh, there's a premier ball in the back. There's Sobol, Blibug, Beltoy, Rhyhorn. We have Dottler. Look at this card. Fantastic. Carvix Wire. Great ball. Couldn't it be quick ball? Hoot Hoot Reverse and the rare. Poof. It's a Sableye. Wow. Even another ultra rare. Wow, I cannot complain about this box at all. So glad that we got it. Okay, Sableye V. What can I say that hasn't been said about Sableye V on the channel yet? It's broken. <laughs> it's just broken. We already did deck profile, did a TCG online battle with it, talked about it at the pre-release. So Sableye V is just insane. The more damage counters there are on the po opponent's active Pokemon, the more damage you deal. For instance, let's say the opponent has four damage counters on him. Well, you actually smack 250 damage. How about that? That's uh, cool yeah? for uh, two, two Darkness Energies. So as soon as we get some uh, Darkness Energy acceleration, uh, we could even uh, enjoy this card even more. But for now, smack it down on the bench, attach up the turn. Hopefully it survives and then you just obliterate opponents. And now my setup is ruined. So maybe we have to put Zacian on the top together with, I don't even know. So Sableye, meh. Yeah, like this. Maybe? Is that good? Whatever. Okay, this is actually looking to be a very fine booster box. Even the camera says so, bumping it around and stuff. Look at that. That is my booster box so far. We still have six packs left. So pretty much like two blisters, two blister packs. Can we still get another ultra rare? That would be insane. Or a quick ball. I would be happy with a quick ball. One, two, three. And that's the good thing about this set. If you pull a quick ball, you already are so glad because it's gonna be used in a lot of deck. Almost every deck will run quick ball. Galarian Ponyta, Menchino, Sable, Blip Up, Beltoy, Up, Ordinary Rot, second one. Cool. We have Bead, Reboot, Rare Candy Reverse, fantastic. Love pulling reverse trainers. And the rare is, ah, oh, this. Br bleh. You want this, not that. Okay, Cramorant getting two cards, a water type and a carless type. I love Cramorant though. Sniping 160, that just screams like, oh, look, you have a Dedenny on the bench right there. Would it be bad if someone sniped that and boom, you win the game? That's how it usually will happen if you play this card. Krabby. That's another Krabby. We had like the Krabby that spreads around and now we have the Krabby that uses Super Slice. Oof, 124, uh, yeah, oof. If you play coin flip cards, this is the card for you. Uh, Koopan, Beltoy, camera has to focus. Come on, it's just a Salanded. Here we go. Galarian Ponyta. Oh, there we have Quick Ball and Metal Saucer. Broken, broken, broken. This is broken. Okay, we got a Quick Ball, almost a full play set. And a Metal Saucer, the third one. So, uh, this is looking to be one of the best booster boxes in a while. Okay, Manchine, Reverse Corbanium, bam. Turtonator, menacing looking Turtonator right here. 150. Just as a fun fact, the uh, dra dragon type Turtonator smacks 150 for three energies, but you have to discard all of them. This time you have to discard two, so this card actually is not good. Throwing it away immediately. Uh, yeah, we have four more packs. Okay, what can we still pull? Can there still be an Ultra Rare in here? I doubt it, but it is still possible, I think, because I've seen boxes that are just insane. Okay, we have Yamper, woof. Popping up again, Krabby, Super Slice, <laughs> Kufant, Beltoy, Salanded, Energy Retrieval is back, move up to two basic energies from the discard pile to your hand. This uh, also is errated, so you can uh, use up to, so you don't have to get to if you don't want to. Heatmore, Drizile, 
reverse Rhydon and boom, what? Another ultra rare, okay, this looks insane. What to do about this? We don't have space on the, the playmat anymore. We have to put them real close to each other. Okay, Lapras and Lapras V Max. Maybe, eh. Okay, I did not expect this, folks. Okay, just trying to check out Lapras here. This uh, attaches water energy from your hand to this Pokemon. If you do, you can switch, so you can maybe play some doll cards and move to it. And uh, also this max 210 damage. Just uh, damage short for the uh, station, but you can have Vitality Band equipped it onto here and uh, out of nowhere this uh, two prizer can uh, one-shot one this other two prizer. Lapras VMAX, so not too shabby here. Definitely with Frost Mod. We have not pulled Frost Mod, but you know, just mentioning it out here. This looks to be an insane booster box. We have two, four, six, eight ultra rares, and one, two, three, four, five, six, six hollows. That's a lot of good pulls right there. You, you should see the white code cards popping up there. Okay, one, two, three. Energy is water, of course, to go along with that Lapras. Come on, some quick balls. Quick ball. Metal Saucers, where are you at? Ferrocy, Salazzle, Duck Trio, Pokemon Center Lady, not what I was looking for. Kingler Reverse, not good. And bam, Drapion. One of those rares that just say it screams like, what? Energy, so many, what? This is actually not a good card. Not at all. Lapras, this seems to be like a Lapras box. Can we get another Ultra Bear? I'm just gonna keep saying it. Because I still have hope for, uh, yeah, maybe a Frost Mod or whatever, or maybe another holographic, who knows. Krabby, Galarian Zigzagoon. We have not pulled any Obstagoons, which is a sad thing about this, but uh, I have pulled uh, them at the pre-release, so don't mind too much. Energy Retrieval. Ferrothorn. Heedmore. Sinistee. I don't know how, I don't have, I have not pulled a lot of these. Rare is, whoa, what is this? Another holographic. Okay. Santa Skanda, and the camera just says like, what is this? Okay, Sand Sack. This Pokemon takes 30 uh, less damage from attacks. Pretty much like the ability that Dauntan had back in the days, but a little bit buffed up. Uh, this Pokemon has at least one extra fighting energy attached to... Hey, it's using like uh, tag team effects here on the effects. Okay, three fighting energies, 100 and, uh, 130. Hmm, one shot speaker on though, but we don't have energy acceleration for these kind of cards, so... All right, I have to move up again. Celebi, get out. We have ball. Yeah, let's move it like this. So lots of shiny cards in this booster box. We still have one back left. Will it be uh, another one of those broken white coat cards where we can get another card? Who knows? It's all up to this last pack to showcase what this box is made of. Okay, last pack. Are you ready? Ferro Seed, Krabby, Galarian Zigzagoon, playset completed. Okay, uh, Gossifleur, Silly Cobra, uh, Dug Wool, Evolution of Blue. We have Dug Drio, Switch, I always love pulling switches because they're also in a lot of deck, a lot of four offs. And the rare, last rare of this box, boom, is Noctowl. Yeah, I am uh, not too disappointed because Noctowl has a great attack here, carry off. Choose one of your opponent's bench Pokemon, they shuffle that Pokemon and all cards attached to it into their deck. Ooh, so you can uh, get rid of one of the Pokemon, triple accelerated energy and make it uh, disappear. <laughs> okay, that is it for this booster box opening of Sword and Shield. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to demolish the like button, subscribe for more content. Let me know what you already got from the Sword and Shield set. This is probably, uh, yeah, maybe I'm gonna open up some more packs if I uh, win some, that could be a, a way to go. But I already have a, a lot of these decks built, so I'm probably gonna be fully uh, focusing on uh, TCG Online Battle so you guys know what the best decks in the format are, so you can start preparing for tournaments. There's also the uh, Oceana Internationals coming, so uh, in Melbourne. So uh, OCIC, very uh, uh, looking forward to seeing that a lot of uh, Australian friends are playing in that tournament and I root them on, so this is for you guys, so uh, uh, destroy them. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys had a great time watching this booster box opening. And uh, yeah, I wish you all a very fantastic rest of your day. See you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace out.